The key area of the world we're talking about is the Vedo zone. What do we mean by Vedo zone? Well, it is not a precise thing like the speed of light in a vacuum. The Vedo zone is a concept. And so typically what we're going to have is we'll have a land surface. Here's our plants coming out of land surface. And then somewhere down here, we may have an impermeable bedrock, for example. And then in between them, we would have our classic water table, which if we put a well in to the problem, then the well would have water just to that level. Okay? And so we can call this an aquifer. And we'll generally call this whole region the Vedo zone. Otherwise, some people will, will, will uh, refer to this also as the unsaturated zone. So it is the area above the, the top of the aquifer. Keep in mind that there may be what we call perched aquifers. So if we had, for example, a little clay lens here, then we could certainly end up with having a little saturated zone here above the clay lens, and this would be called a perched aquifer. But still, we would consider this overall region the Vedo zone. Now, this is uh, another term that has come up of late that's quite popular, is the critical zone. And the critical zone is, again, somewhat uh, loosely defined, but it essentially encompasses this region. So it, it is the Vedo zone plus the plants and lower atmosphere. Okay, so this would be the critical zone, okay? In the Vedo zone, you will have some, a, a few fine points that you'll hear about, and one of them is what we might call the capillary fringe. And the capillary fringe is just the region of soil which is under a negative pressure but it's still nearly saturated. And we, we've talked um, a bit about this idea of a, of a water retention function and basically this is where the, the, the tension is not sufficient to bring air into the system. So what is the Vedo zone? The Vedo zone is this region of the world above the water table. And it can have some areas that are saturated locally here and here. So this is saturated because it's the capillary fringe. This is saturated because it's a, a little perched aquifer. But more or less it's the unsaturated zone or Vedo zone. Whereas the critical zone also tries to incorporate the effects of plants, plant roots, and the biological and atmospheric processes. So those are some terms that people are using these days to describe the part of the world that we're thinking about.